Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing actually with a deck that is considered to, to be very high skill and that's gonna be obviously the deck from the French pro Remy Ellie which is like Digger with Bone Blasters and Piercing Archer. So this deck is considered uh, a high skill deck by many players because it doesn't have a big spell so you kinda cannot sit back and spell cycle and you actually have to do stuff but Many players also consider this deck to be a very low skill deck for the reason that the Piercing Archer and a Cyclone basically serves as a big spell because you play uh, the bridge and you apparently get infinite damage but it's not, the, it's not always the case in fact I think it's most of the, the time not the case I'm gonna get very nice kill on these devils uh, because if your opponent is smart, he just won't give you the opportunity to do so. I'm gonna play Piercing Arch against this Mortar. I would love this Piercing Archer to stay locked a little longer. I think this Mortar will get one more shot, so I'm gonna just prevent that. And actually in this first game, we're gonna face off a Mortar. And Mortar is very nice matchup for us. Because like Piercing Archer not, long, not only counters Mortar, it also counter attacks at the same time. And then it's just like... Absolutely fantastic. I've just uh, gotten his tower down to uh, 1k before I did even notice it just because he was just uh, trying to force uh, something out of me first play and it absolutely backfired on him. So I think that's a good matchup for us. Also, he's playing Digger and in a Digger face off, I actually like to play this deck for a reason that. Uh, you just have this uh, Piercing Archer and Cyclone ability to basically come back in any possible scenario and that's why I think this deck is very high skill because even if you have a bad matchup you usually can just uh, try to out trick your opponent with some, uh, with some hidden plays and if you do it always feels satisfying so it looks like my opponent just gave up so I'm gonna just uh, crop it here and move to the game number two it looks like we're gonna get the same guy uh, the second time we're gonna see what he will uh, try to get us or maybe I just messed up nickname but the medal count is very similar it's like around 50 medals he's gonna be playing super ape this time so uh, I would say it's not even a better matchup against what we're doing right now because uh, in general Digger decks score very well against Super Ape and that's because uh, both decks are defensive, both decks kinda rely on uh, uh, spell cycling and Digger can be placed directly onto the tower and Super Ape kinda has to break through so he's gonna be actually playing the OG 2.6 Super Ape which Back in the day was considered the highest skill deck of all time because back then defending with cheap cards was uh, seen as an innovative but right now people are just calling this deck a spam deck for a reason that you basically your game plan revolves ara around spamming super apes as much as you can during one match and if you do it you will uh, very, you are very likely to also achieve some goals of this deck. I'm gonna actually get a very bad stun with my Super Ape. We'll get two shots on the tower. I think I would get one, maybe even a zero if I timed properly, but like, yeah, that sucks. It was a micro mistake. It always can be fixed. In that way, it just takes a practice and yeah. Sometimes you just make these mistakes, there's nothing to be done about that except for training more. I'm gonna play another Digger with Bone Blasters, he's gonna respond with Cannon this time, but still the Digger will slip and some damage will be done. He's gonna be playing actually another Super Ape, so like I've said, the gameplay is kinda repetitive, revolves around the same concept of playing Super Ape uh, aggressively. Uh, as often as you can. I'm gonna play right now uh, Digger and Bone Blasters and he's gonna have a cannon again against them which I think is like the best response that you have a Super Ape player and that's why he is just playing it so he's gonna be playing Super Ape right now. I'm gonna play Bomb Tower like this to kill the Gunner and I'm gonna use the Stone Phones to kill the Super Ape. Okay, so he's gonna 
actually try to gimmick me in a way. I'm gonna play a Digger and Bone Blasters. He obviously has a can for that, but it doesn't matter that much. I'm gonna play a Swordman and try to line up a Piercing Archer this time, and absolutely I will get this lineup, except Swordsman pushes it, and yeah, that was a very unfortunate push. Uh, sometimes it happens, you pretty much cannot do anything about it. He this time changes his defense, which is a very nice play, but yeah. With that being said, I think I'm gonna get a final lineup because this piercing archer absolutely gets into the tower. And yeah, he had to have a flying bomb at the ready. He counter pushed me on the opposite lane instead, and that's why I'm gonna get the tower down. GG, well played. Let's hope to the next game. And the third game will be against Burger, so uh, I still don't know what deck he is playing, so I kinda cannot talk about matchup. But now I can. He's playing Skeleton Keg, so I'm gonna just play Piercing Arch against that. And a good rule of thumb is uh, just keeping playing cards as a cycle player because it pretty much isn't that punishing as uh, like with decks that of a higher rarity. Also, you kind of want to get uh, to know your opponent's matchup very early, so you can start addressing things accordingly. Also. One thing to notice is that the uh, T-Rex has changed the color again, it's, it's green. And that's a very fun gimmick for this game, I definitely enjoy it because like orange T-Rex was fine, but I I honestly like it green more. It, it, it looks more fun that way. Also like uh, uh, today I was playing some ladder and I've noticed that a, a balloon is very... Uh, uh, has a very buggy texture right now, so definitely some changes coming to a boom arena. Not sure what are these changes, but they are coming. And yeah, focusing back on the game, we're gonna be up against some. Um, I would I would love to believe it's an air deck, but he's playing bone blasters at the same time, so there's no guarantee and. There's obviously a chance that he's playing not optimal deck, but uh, it's not the thing you want to assume. Uh, especially because if you assume that every time it's gonna be very... It's gonna hurt uh, your performance. You have to always assume your opponent plays uh, the best play and... Only then you should like... Try to find his uh, mistakes in the gameplay, so... I think my opponent actually has given up, I didn't. Okay, I managed to slip a digger in front of this piercing archer, but I don't think it's the fastest three star method. I'm gonna assume just he gave up, even though I don't have concrete evidence. He's not playing a card, so I might just go for a three star. So yeah, that's gonna be game three. I'm gonna see you in the game number four. And we're against Jesus. Hopefully not Jesus himself, because I'm not ready to go to heaven yet. He's gonna be having 52 medals and starts with Bone Blasters. Actually, very popular option amongst players in Boom Arena. I mixed click this Piercing Archer once again. I meant to go one tile uh, higher so I can just snipe the Bomb Tower. I'm gonna play Digger here. And he's gonna play the Digger on his own. I would love to believe that this Digger could have uh, been. could have served as a uh, Viking Tower activation, but I. Then go for it, so kinda missed chance there. I'm gonna play a Bone Blasters here, and actually, I'm gonna get okay, I'm not gonna get the connection very well timed cycle. I'm gonna go for Stone Fonts and Digger, and since he doesn't have cycle, I can play Digger anywhere I want, and it looks like we're gonna be having a mirror matchup, so I'm gonna go for the Bomb Tower. I actually even catch the Digger, so I was very fortunate. I would love to him to play a piercing archer because it would just give him give me a free value he actually goes for a piercing archer very late and isn't even a lineup so i'm gonna get two bone blasters on the tower because he was just out of mana and at the same time we're gonna just having a we're gonna be having a very good time i'm gonna kill this too real quick and right now I'm gonna just go for the counter-attack because there's nothing else to be done. He's gonna go for the bomb tower. I think I still can snipe it with piercing archer. 
And since I don't see any need to do so, I'm gonna restrain myself from doing that for now. Actually now I'm reaching 10 mana spot, I think I might just as well do it because why not, it may just force him some bad play, I'm gonna play Swordman and the bridge, and obviously, okay, he, he's just given up, many people just give up against this deck when they fall behind, and that's the case this time as well, so I'm gonna just jump to the game number 5, and even maybe record the game number 6, because the games are very short today. And the next game will be against user, uh, who is above uh, 300,000, also 744, I uh, might as well just read his full username. I believe that's the case for people that are having some inappropriate nicknames and uh, does there got censored or something. I'm gonna play Bomb Tower here, I didn't want to play that, but I think my opponent gives me no other choice. I'd love to play a Swordsman here, but I didn't have one in hand, so yeah, this play was kind of forced and I think we are past the opening stage where we can determine my opponent's deck and he's playing default deck. That's the default deck of Boomarina. I can recognize it from a mile away and the game plan is very simple. You just play solidly and don't lose the damage. It's gonna be a game plan actually against most of the matchups but uh, it's nice to specify game plans against particular matchups because sometimes it may vary and if you don't realize it too early you may like pay the price for that over sight and right now we're gonna just go for a attack because there's no reason to like be scared of that bomb blasters actually will kill this archer piercing archer will connect onto the tower and that's gonna be a very fat lock on which is obviously nice for us. I'm gonna go for a swordsman here as the swordsman counters the steel hammer on defense for a plus one trait, so I'm gonna just go for it. I'm gonna play stonephones here. I would love the stonephones to hide behind the swordsman, and he actually will help me with that by putting a bomb skeleton and giving the value for my troops that wouldn't go anywhere anyway. I'm gonna play right now Rolling Steel because I feel like one stone Fong is not enough to deal with that. I'm gonna get a perfect piercing archer shot. I'm gonna go for Bone Blasters here. And like, this game currently just plays itself. I think this matchup could have been played by my pawn, but uh, we get what we got. And I'm gonna actually go for like some gimmicks right now because. I'm kinda bored, I'm gonna line up everything to the tower so my piercing archer gets like the maximum value. Actually piercing archer's like perfect uh, scenario is hitting the troop on the opposite side and simultaneously damaging the tower. So he even plays a bomb skeleton and uh, that is in line which is like obviously bad for him but uh, astoundingly good for me so I'm gonna just keep attacking because if I'm attacking he will have a harder time of defending because usually attacking uh, in almost any circumstances is easier than defending and yeah we're gonna just close this game he actually didn't give up even though i think he should but yeah he still has the option to stay in the game and play it out and that's why we have this two star victory and yeah since the video is kind of short, uh, I'm gonna jump to the game number 6. And the last game of the video will be against Bombaclot, which, whatever that means, I know for sure that it means something for him because he named his Boomarina account after that. And uh, as we all know, Boomarina accounts are very important things for every human being, so I'm gonna just try to kite his heavy troops left and right and center and hope to get some value unfortunately my piercing archer will die i tried to play this rolling steel to save it but it wasn't successful at all and that's gonna mean that we're gonna face another default deck in this video so i'm gonna just play bigger and bone blasters hope to get some nice offensive though and he's gonna hold the bone blasters with bullets my digger still will connect to the tower for some nice damage i'm not gonna complain about that also, I've used a Cyclone against Stonephones and Bomb Blasters because it's just a free real estate, there's no reason not to take it. 
I'm gonna play Swordsman in a back, so it will contest the Bomb Skeleton in the future, and the future is nearing close with every second. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel here, so my uh, tower doesn't receive a hit from a Bomberman. I sense that it was very likely that this Bomberman will splash my tower, so I just denied it. And right now I think I can go for another offense right back again. I'm gonna play a Digger here. My Piercing Archer will lock. My opponent doesn't even try to contest Piercing Archer for whatever reason, but yeah, that's life. I'm gonna get a nice damage, I'm not gonna question it. He's gonna get a nice bullets against my Bone Blasters. Well, I'm gonna defend his stone phones and I think we're gonna head into a double mana time, obviously with me having an advantage. I don't think my opponent plays this matchup really well because what you want to do is like to try to eventually overwhelm me and even though it's the game plan, I still have a cyclone which deals very well with that. At the same time, I think my opponent just doesn't play any card. It may be just mean uh, a resignation. Very unfortunate to see that. Uh, I think I'm gonna just call the video here for today because it was the sixth game. And yeah, thanks for watching. I think this deck is still viable in Boom Arena Ladder. Make sure if you like this deck or not in the comments down below. And yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena tomorrow at 6 uh, p.m. my time. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing else to add. See you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.